Hello everyone, connecting with you today with a thought from God's Word. Christ makes a statement as recorded in John chapter 15 and he is he's pulling together this, this concept of love and connectedness and, and fruit that comes as a result of us being connected to the vine. And, and he, he makes this statement and he says that this is a commandment from him that we would love one another, that our love might be shown to others through how we deal with one another. And then he, he gives this greater clarification in that he says that the greatest love of all is this love that would lead an individual to sacrifice their life for others. It's found that love is in its greatest form when my need, my desire, my preference is set aside to the benefit of others. I, I read this story about a, a young child, a, a boy of eight years old. His, his sister was younger than him and she was suffering from leukemia and she needed desperately a, a blood donation and there was no one that was compatible but this young boy, his parents had come to him and had said, it's possible that you are compatible with your sister. Would you be willing to give a pint of your blood to your sister? Well, the young boy thought for a moment and he said, I'm going to need to think about this for a day. And so his parents gave him the space and, and as the story goes, he, he took the day and he went to bed that night. And in the morning when he awoke and his parents were awakened, he came to his parents and he said, I've made my decision. I will, I will give my blood to my sister. And so the arrangements were made and the young man was taken to the hospital and he was put on a bed next to his sister and, and the nurse administered the, the IV to the boy and they began to withdraw the blood. They withdrew a, a pint of blood from him and then they took that blood and, and they hooked it up to his sister who was in desperate need of this blood. And, and as the blood was dripping through the IV into his sister. This young boy laid in the bed next to her with his eyes closed and, and the doctor reaches out to him and touches him and he opens his eyes and he looks at the doctor and he says, I have one question. To which the doctor said, what's your question, son? And he said to the doctor, how long will it be until I begin to die. The young man needed time to think about this because his thoughts were he was giving his blood so that his sister could live, but it would require his dying to do so. Now, obviously, this was not the case, and I'm sure the young man rejoiced upon hearing that he would not have to die in order for his sister to live. But it shows this, this heart mindset, if you will, of sacrificing myself for the gain of others. Today, while our lives might not be physically required that others might come to a place of the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, there are some things that will have to be set aside in our lives, some things that may need to be reprioritized. But I can't help but wonder, is there something that I could set aside, something that I might consider a sacrifice personally, that others might come 
to find the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We have received much, and the scripture says, to whom much is given, much is required. I have, you have, a great privilege and responsibility of sharing the hope we have found in Jesus Christ with others. Think about it. You and I who had no hope and frankly no future of peace but rather a future of separation and judgment now have the opportunity to share hope and life with others. Let this be the challenge today. Will you, will I, as modeled by our Savior, will we make personal sacrifice that it be to the gain of others that they too might come to know Jesus Christ? Take time today and pray about this, that it be realized in your life, that it be lived through your life that the hope of Jesus Christ might be extended to all. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you soon. Come invite someone on Sunday as we rejoice and celebrate our Savior and the hope which we have found.